first going to do File, New, or Control N, Command N. If you're on a Mac, the new dialog box opens up. You can give it a title if you'd like. I'm just going to go with Width, 600, Height, 300. Go ahead and click OK. You can see my project opens up. Let me hide my Layers palette there. And what I'm going to do is, here you'll see, I kind of like this dark blue to gray. If you want to fix these, you simply click on them. Your color picker picks up your color picker dialog. And you just choose whatever you like. If you want the uh, other color there, you just click on it. Again, you can choose whatever you like. I'm happy with the dark blue and gray. So I'm going to come up here and go to my gradient tool. If you don't see your gradient tool, it might be hiding under your paint bucket. Uh, you can tell there's two tools grouped together because there's this little, this little black triangle found in the lower right hand corner. Just simply click, hold down on it, find your gradient tool. Up at the top, you'll have your gradient tool options right up here. And uh, right now I have mine set on linear gradient. So I'm going to go ahead and select that linear gradient. Swipe across my board here. Just like that. So I click tail down with my mouse. I'm going to drag across. I just get this nice blue to gray gradient. Now I think I'd, I'd like it to go the other way. Maybe a light gray to dark blue. So I'm going to drag it up the opposite direction. Uh, there we go. Now you know what? I, I think I'm going to go back there. Okay, so... After you drag out your gradient, we're going to add a text layer. So I'm going to click on my text tool. At the top, you're going to see your text tool options. Um, you can choose whatever color, what kind of font you like and whatnot. You can see here's your font size and um, some various attributes of your font. I'll just leave mine as is. I simply click, and I'm going to type. I'll just type reflect. Yeah, I'm going to switch back to my move tool. I'm going to click on this black arrow. That's your move tool. Found in the top of your tools palette. Drag this back into place. Do a control T. It's command T on your Mac. And that's a free transform that allows you to resize your object. Just drag that out a little bit there. Place it right in the middle. You know what? I'd really like that reflect text to be a different color. So I'm going to open up my layers palette and you can see the it's a text tool indicated by this uh, or a text layer indicated by this T so it's a special layer text layer I'm going to double click on that text layer you can see double clicking on any text layer highlights all the text in that layer um, I could have also simply clicked on the text tool over here dragged across it much like you would do in a word processing application and what I'm going to do is change the color so uh, I'm going to come up to the top to my font options, click on that, just choose something darker. Click OK. And then to deselect everything, click back on your move tool. And now I have uh, some black text. It's a little distorted, so I'm going to do a Control T, Command T on the Mac. I'm going to readjust just slightly. Looks better. Move that back into place. Now what I'd like to do is create a reflection of that text and this is done pretty easily. I'm going to click on my layers panel. You can see there's my uh, there's my reflect text. I resize my layers panel here a little bit so you can see what's going on. So I would like to duplicate the reflect text layer. How I like to duplicate it, there's other ways to do this. Um, you simply click on the layer thumbnail and drag it on to the new layer icon. The new layer icon is the little icon located to the left of the trash can. So you drag that layer right on top of the new layer icon and it creates a copy of the layer. You can see it right here on top, reflect copy. Make sure the reflect copy is selected. I hide my layers palette again. Now I'm going to do control T or command T to open up our transforms. I'm going to drag this down right on top of each other. So I take the top handle here and I just drag it right over and you can see I already just created a cool little reflection. Let go and I want to show you something else. I'm going to right click right in the middle of this selection. I'm going to right click and you're going to see that the perspective option, the perspective transform option is not available to me. It's grayed out. And that is because this is a text layer. Text layers, the distort and perspective options are not going to be available to you. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and hit enter to accept that transform. So I hit enter and you can see the little transform box disappears. Come back to my layers panel, open that up. I'm going to change this layers panel from a text layer 
I'm going to rasterize that, that text layer. It'll no longer be editable text, but it'll give me some additional options. So I'm going to right click on that reflect copy layer, come down and choose rasterize type. Click on that. You can see it's no longer a text layer. If it was a text layer, it would have that T indicating it was a text layer. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to come back over to it. I'm going to control T, command T on the Mac to uh, transform that, that layer. Make sure I have it. There we go. I didn't have a layer selected, so I needed to open my layers panel and single click on the reflect copy layer. Now when I do a control T, you can see my transform box come up. I'm going to right click on that and I'm going to choose perspective. I'm going to grab one of the corners. I'm going to drag it out. You can see getting that cool perspective reflection popping out. Even make this a little bit bigger there. So you just drag out a corner. You can see whatever happens to one side happens on the other. Okay, if you don't like what's going on, like I just kind of messed it up there, I'm going to hit enter and then uh, edit step backward or control Z or control Alt Z to undo that last action there. Now I'm going to do control T again, right click on that, choose perspective, drag out that corner, and then I'll hit enter. So we're getting that cool reflection type of effect. It's looking good. Just to go a little bit uh, deeper into the tutorial, what we'll do now, um, and by the way, I just simply clicked on the top layer of the reflect text and used the down arrow key on my keypad to move that in place. So I'm going to make sure the reflect copy layer is selected. I'm going to go get my rectangular marquee tool and activate that. And I'm going to create a selection right around about three quarters of the text. So just create a selection. I'm going to go up to select. I want to feather that out a little bit. So I'm going to go to modify feather. And I think I'll do about a um, four pixel feather. Okay, that looks good. You don't see anything happen quite yet. But now let's go back up to filter. I'm going to go up to blur and apply a Gaussian blur. My Gaussian blur box pops up. You go with about four pixels. You can see it just got a little bit blurry there. Click OK. I'm going to deselect that Control D, or you can go to Select, Deselect, either way, Command D if you're on the Mac. But it's kind of abrupt, um, abrupt blur there. You, it's not very realistic because of the way it's nice and sharp and then blurs out. So we'll begin with the Reflect Copy Layer selected. Come back down, and I'm going to drag a marquee on this bottom section of the reflect text. And I'm going to go up to filter and blur, Gaussian blur. I'm going to lower the radius of that blur tad. And click OK. You can see I get this nice gradual blur. I'm going to go to select, deselect, or control D, command T if you're on the Mac. And then there we have it. It's kind of cool reflection type technique. I'm going to add one more thing to this just to show you that it's an option here. And this is in uh, CS3 Extended. To get my Move tool, I'm going to select the Reflect layer. I'm going to click on that layer, drag it up to the top. Okay, from here. So I'm just restacking these so they make a little bit more sense. So the text layer is on top, Reflect is below that, and then my background layer. You don't necessarily have to do this, but to me it just... And it helps arrange my project a little bit. So I'm going to make sure that reflect text is selected. Do uh, actually, I want the uh, shadow there. So reflect copy. Do a control T. I'm going to right click on this. So control D, command T, T if you're on the Mac to bring up your free transform tools. I'm going to go to warp. What we can do is bend this out a little bit. Grab this bottom bracket, pull this down. So. That looks kind of cool. And you can adjust it a little bit using these handles. I don't think I want to go quite that far. I'll just bend it out just a tiny bit. Okay, so you always have these warp options, which are kind of neat. I'm going to go ahead and hit enter. So I'm getting that cool reflection. To add a little bit more realism, I want to back off the opacity of the layer a little bit. So I'm going to make sure the reflect copy layer is selected. I'm going to come up to the opacity slider at the top of the layers panel. To click on that, and drag that, spec that off a little bit. Okay, very good. 
This is Scott with TutorialStep.com.